Our Tomas Manglonia is standing by. Tomas. Good morning, Green Currents. Here's the latest news in the Northern Marianas. As the CNMI focuses on the executive and legislative processes of each branch, KUM spoke with a third branch of government, the CNMI Judiciary, on how they're impacted by the coronavirus crisis. Here's Director of Courts, Sonia Camacho. Take a listen. About uh, the recent furloughs and the budget cuts, we know that the fiscal summit was recently held with all three branches of government there and their representatives and the private sector. Uh, how have the courts specifically been impacted by the recent furloughs? How many staff or, uh, you know, had to be let go? And what, does, what do those numbers look like for the judiciary right now? Well, initially, the uh, we were informed in uh, beginning of the year that the all the branches of government would have to take a proportionate cut, and so the initial cut was at 28 percent. As as uh, COVID-19 containment measures took effect, and uh, the I think the um, the revenue projections started to dip. As we all know, um, the economy um, shut down, and the in early April. Uh, our allotments uh, took a 48% cut, and so that's a huge, it's a huge cut to our operations. Uh, what what that did for us is uh, initially we um, imposed austerity days for our staff, and so the court was closed every Friday, and then because of the huge cut that came uh, in in uh, April, we went to um, workforce reductions. So the workforce reductions meant non non renewal of contracts for some staff. Uh, uh, furlough, um, a 12 month furlough for some. Also, new update from the FEMA uh, Deputy Supervisor, Defense Coordinating Officer, and Mayor of Saipan. Lab technicians, swap kits, and more PPEs from South Korea arrived on Saipan last Sunday. And in more COVID 19 news from Saipan, in conformance with Governor Ralph Torres' extended public health emergency declaration, and for ensuring protocols for ensuring social distancing, the Nutrition Assistance Program will be distributing benefits through drive through service again at their office in Aslito from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. from June 1st to June 15th. And an update from the Department of Corrections, Commissioner of Corrections, Wally Vildomez, announced on Wednesday that all employees, officers, and inmates from the CMI Department of Corrections have all tested negative for COVID-19. According to Commissioner Villa Gomez, DOC employees took initiative by registering for testing when the community-based testing initiative began operations in the CNMI. As part of its ongoing initiative to reach out to vulnerable and at-risk communities, the Commonwealth Healthcare Corporation collaborated with DOC to collect specimens from over 100 inmates and staff for testing. Again, responding to the concerns raised by media partners and community members, the Commissioner assures that the CNMI Department of Corrections is 100% COVID-19 free. And here are the latest numbers from the Commonwealth Healthcare Corporation on COVID-19 count here in the CNMI. The cumulative number of confirmed COVID-19 cases remains at 22 with two deaths and 13 recoveries. The number of persons released from quarantine as of May 27th is 472. And now the CNMI has reached over 5,000 people tested through the community-based testing initiative. On Saipan, that number is 4,640 people tested. On Tinian, 234. And on Rhoda, 326. To bring Chris, that's the latest here in the Northern Marianas. Thanks, Tomas. In national news, the number of people who have died from coronavirus in the United States hit 99,000. But a new model often cited by the White House has lowered its death projections and more cities, counties, and states are opening up again for business. Elise Preston reports. Churches, pools, drive-in theaters, and in-person shopping is back in California. But at this mall in Ontario, California, shoppers are finding many stores still shuttered and long lines outside open ones. I didn't think it was going to be that empty. So, like, none of the stores were open? On New York's Long Island, some businesses are now able to offer in-store or curbside pickups. We're hoping to just salvage the rest of the season. And Nevada's governor has announced most businesses can reopen Friday and casinos are on track to open next week. University of Washington researchers now say 11,000 fewer Americans will die by August. That projection is down to about 132,000. Still, 27 states reported increases in new coronavirus cases Tuesday compared to two weeks ago. 
New CDC guidelines warn COVID-19 antibody tests are wrong nearly half the time and should not be used to determine if someone is immune to the coronavirus. And a new Associated Press poll with the nonpartisan objective research organization finds half of Americans are skeptical about a COVID-19 vaccine and only about half say they will get one. I think there's an opportunity for policymakers and health communicators to convey kind of what's going into building this vaccine, how solid are the data to make sure that it's safe so that when it's available, we can kind of have pre-addressed some of those concerns. The Trump administration has a goal of having 300 million doses of a vaccine by January. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. In your banking 671 report right now, your health should be your priority, but taking care of your finances will help alleviate some of the tensions and stress you might be feeling. Knowing that your money issues are taken care of will also allow you to focus more on your well-being. Here are a few steps to help you move forward. Reach out to your bank and our creditors before things get out of hand. The sooner you reach out, the better. There are so many resources out there to help you through this difficult time. Get familiar with what those are and what is available to you, whether it's